us pray. Eternal Father, our God, we come renewed through the gift of sleep. and relaxation. We come charged with new ability to be in your majestic and sovereign presence. We are very proud of who you are. And Jesus, we know that last night you told us we are very precious to you. We are very honored and that you love us. And because of it, you will give people in exchange for our lives and nations too. Because of us, you will sweep people away and you will also bring people into our lives. To you be the honor and the glory and the power forever and ever. For what you did for us last night, we seal it with these appreciative words and gestures. We are grateful to you. To you alone belongs all things. We thank you, we bless you, we worship you forever and ever. Amen. scripture for studies this morning we continue to we continue to learn and study from the letters of Paul to the Hebrews um, let us do let us do this number you see, I teach scriptures this way, word by word, verse by verse, phrase by phrase, so that you will be able to understand the word. This is not preaching. I am not a preacher. I'm a pastor. And also, most of the time, I also operate under the different offices. I teach true revelation. God teaches the word and reveal what the word means to me. Behind everything that I do is the word power. That's the reason why I teach the word. It is to demonstrate the power of God, to manifest the presence of God. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 5 For unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have I begotten thee those people who make a whole lot about uh, Lucifer and his hosts 
and making one of the world biggest mistake. God has never spoken to any angel and said, Today you are my son. Remember that this letter of Paul, when you read it, it talks about, it, it mixes up without you knowing it. It mixes up Jesus before he's coming to the earth to be born as the son of God, as the son of Joseph. A son of man, the Most High God. It mixes that with Jesus, who He is now, and with Jesus, who is to come. So, four different episodes of Jesus is being shown as a movie in this theater called the book, the epistles to the, the, to the Hebrews, the book that we are studying. It's just like in the book of Revelation, where when you are reading, you will be reading the history of the world before the earth began. Then the history of the world when the earth began. The history of the world in the different, in the different um, destructive and reconstructive paradigms, you see it all being played out. That is the same thing you see here in the book to the Hebrews. There has never been an angel in heaven or anywhere where at any time God opened his mouth and said, You are my son. This day have I generated you. When you see where he says, Big Gotham, then when we read, For God so loved the world that he, he gave us his only begotten son. That word, Big Gotham, is what we are seeing here. It is used when a father is the one that sowed the seed that made the baby. That word is called generated because he is something of him that produces life. He activated it and put it in the body of a woman. He took of his most preciousness and out of it he generated. Came, that is the word there is, came. Out of it came. He, he used a man uses seed to call forth. You see, this is where this is where central activities is a spirit thing. Because with the seed mixing with the ovary, you call out a spirit to come to the earth in form of a human being. That's who we are. This, this is the mystery of it. Another mystery of it is it takes a man to mix with a woman in deep affection to call forth a spirit from God to be released to us to come to earth and create. This is why any culture that does not honor a human being is a culture of death. 
and a culture of destruction. There has never been an angel whom God said, to whom God said, you are my son. Today, I have called you forth. Like God called his son to come forth from the womb of a woman. This particular scenario is found also in the prophetic Psalms in the revelatory and declarative Psalms of David. I, I read it first from the mouth of David the King, the world greatest worship leader and prayer warrior. Thou art my son. Today I call you to come forth. I generate you. Like a generator produces electricity. The father called forth his son into existence. This is what is happening in this. He called for his son. So if we are going to use a time, uh, a time sense, a, or a time language, it will mean as God is, so is his son. As God is, so is the Holy Spirit. That's interesting. See, I'm being, I'm being really driven. I'm, I'm really driven by this mystery. I'm excited about it. This is my passion. There's never been a time that Jesus has not been. There's never been a time that the Father has not been. There's never been a time that the Holy Spirit has not been. But the angels and living creatures and us, the demons, the fallen angels, the animal world, the trees, and all other things came into existence as a result of Jesus. His work, his creativity made all this. This is interesting. Maria. Welcome, Maria. Mariam, thank you for those, um, thank you for those beautiful, beautiful um, uh, uh, photos. Um, they, they were really, really awesome. Thank you very much. I so much appreciate, appreciate, uh, appreciate them. And you know what happened was that um, the picture I have in my spirit of you and my grand uh, daughter and of your husband, um, our son-in-law, is exactly is exactly what I saw in those pictures, and I was like, "Wow, this is this is interesting." Well, uh, it was anyway, yeah. and uh, you know, and, and by tomorrow, uh, Monday, okay. Yeah, she's she's at she's at work. So let's continue. You see, this word spoken of Jesus, you are my son. This day I have called you to comfort. I have begotten you, I have generated you. I have released you to be. I have released you to be just as I am. That's the meaning of it. You are to be just as I am. That's the strongest word to use there.
That's why any father that doesn't spend time to instruct his son is not a good father. There are no bastard children. There are only bastard parents. While a mom is an administrator of the family, the father is supposed to be the teacher of the family, the instructor of the children. There's never been an angel who fits into the category of a son. And when he said son, it's a big thing. Like many of you take what God said very lightly. What was done last night was very heavy. Last night marks a, a landslide kind of activities in our ministry last night. We had the largest, we had the largest turn out of people was last night on a conference call, one single conference call. And when I hear words like, you are precious, you are honored, and I love you, I take it very serious. That I am very precious to God, I am honored, and that God loves me, I don't take it lightly. And look at this and again well be before before we go there before we go to the next the, we, before we go to the next verse you also have this word spoken of you by God the Father over you you are my son you are in existence because I've called you to come I hear because of God. God is speaking the same word over you. You are my son. This day, this day, I have generated you. Out of my love for you, you have been called into existence, into action, to be like me, to represent me. That's what God is saying about you also. So that you can live the lifestyle that Jesus lived, lifestyle of God. You can you can live that kind of lifestyle. You can you can become a very profitable person. You can become a very relevant personality, a very wealthy personality. God wants the way he lives to become your own way of life. What he has, you have to have it too. And again, see what God said. And again, I will be to him a father. And he shall be to me a son. Up till today, Jesus is said to be sitting at the right hand of the majesty on high, that is the Father. God is the Father. He is our Father. God wants to be a Father to you. And you are to be a son to Him. Everyone is regarded as a son. There's nothing like son and daughter. Whether you are a man or a woman, you are a son before God. And this is the same word that was spoken of Jesus. And God said, I will be a father to you. And you shall be to me a son. Which means, you shall receive instruction from me. I will direct you on the way to go about life. That's the meaning. I 
And Jesus never did anything without communicating with his father, having a conversation. We are yet to learn the dynamics of supernatural, the dynamics of supernatural conversations. If you begin to learn and begin to converse that way, is something absolutely different from this world. God has sworn that he is interested to be a real father to you. And you are son to him. Look at verse number six. And again, when he brought when he brought in uh, the first begotten into the world into the world okay listen to that he said and let all angels of God worship him have you heard that when he, Jesus, when Jesus, I always look at this as two things happening. This is what is happening in heaven, and also this is what is happening on earth. When Jesus was born, the two have been mixed together. He said of Jesus, let all angels let all the angels of God, let all the angels of God, only of God, worship him. Because the angels of the devil will not worship Jesus. This is where we know who is who. You see, if an angel appears to you in your dream or appears to you in your home, you should always say, who sent you? Don't just allow any personality to come into your life, or to come into your home, to come into your dreams without you asking, who are you? Where are you from? Who sent you? The reason is this. If you fail to ask that question, angels of darkness sometimes will appear and you have no idea who is who. Many of you are interested in, in power, but you do not know which power is which. So always ask, if you are not an angel from the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jesus, and Jacob, if you are not the angels of Jesus Christ, vanish from this place and don't come back. Because there are angels of God and there are angels who are not of God. So I want you to think seriously about that. All of God's angels worships Jesus. We now know. You see it here. All angels of God worships Jesus. A father said to them, you must worship him. This tells you, Jesus is God. Angels are not gods. They are not God. They don't qualify for that. And they will never. We are not God. We belong to a Jesus who is God. When he spoke, he spoke as God. When he taught, he taught as God. When he preached, he preached as the Father. 
we represent Jesus today. And whatever we do, we do it in his name. And that's what he did while he was on earth. In the name of the God the Father. I want you to begin to see yourself not as um, just a mere personality that just came to the earth and that is it. And your life has no meaning. Your life has great meaning. You are here to represent the Father. You are here to represent Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Don't take this job lightly. Either in a family setting or some other settings. Eternal Father, pour your power upon your people. Let them know that they are precious, honored, and that you love them. Anoint your people this day with your Holy Spirit. Bless them with your peace. Let this weekend be a weekend of great rest and relaxation. For any day you pick to rest, become a day that you've made holy. Feel us, your people, with power, new power, new oil, new wine. Thank you for giving to us what no human being can give to us. And thank you for the greatness of those that you've released to bless us. We are so appreciative. Thank you for being honored in our lives. Father, protect us from every wicked intelligence, no matter where they were hatched, we destroy them. Lead us in the way of supernatural direction and bless all that we do today. Let doors open for us where there were no doors. Amen and amen and amen. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sunday message. It will come to us by 10 o'clock um, Central Standard Time tomorrow morning. I'll see you then. Have a good and blessed rest. Have a very wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.